Shot Nation. Woo woo woo. <laughs> it's your boy, Money Flipping Matt Richards, helping you through a week that's brand new. Of course, half of you uh, know that. Well, not half of you. All of you know it's Monday. Monday. Everywhere. I feel like all of you know it's Monday. <laughs> After that show I had yesterday, that was uh, quite the treat. I did a little hypnosis, and then uh, took care of some medication for my ankle, and I was feeling good. All right. It's important to go the distance, but a solid start can make all the difference in whatever you do. If you can walk into a Monday armed and ready, the rest of the week will be too scared to give you any trouble. And now that advice applies to trivia games, too. If you can steer through... Uh, you, you know, stare a game in the eyes, right? And show you're not intimidated. You gain an emotional edge that'll help you lead yourself to the cut of $5,000. $5,000. That's enough to make you holler. And for a real show of confidence, grab yourself a merry little VIP ticket, baby. Tonight's VIP pot of $1,500 is going to be split among all winning ticket holders just as long as we sell 100 tickets. But to keep payouts high, we'll sell no more than 150 of them. So show what you're made of and jump. Give me a ring. And oh yes, we got another great charity to spotlight tonight. The Asian Mental... underpinnings that go unaddressed. AMHC works to build a community for Asian mental health support. In collaboration with mental health professionals and organizations, they aspire to make mental health easily available, approachable, and accessible to Asian communities worldwide. So HQ is telling you and making a donation to the Asian Mental Health Collective. Check them out at asianmhc.org. It's a great place to seek or offer help. If you know about a charity group that you think HQ should cover, tell us about it at our online suggestion box at hqtrivia.com slash charity. Okay? That's where you do it. hqtrivia.com slash charity. Send it in, and we'll check them out. Quick reminder, HQ's Hall of Trivia, hosted by Eyes and Band, slings the sports questions tomorrow, one hour before the main game. And then Wednesday, of course, is Words Wednesday with Anna Roisman. These are going to be two great games, so do not miss them, babies. Now, we all set to head out on safari and see how savage the beasts are. There's usually a couple in the herd, so stay aware and don't panic, because this is that once-every-night moment of truth. Whether by reading, hearing, or experiencing them directly. So, let's hope what you learned today was nice and trivial, because right now, there's nothing to it but to HQ it. Ready, Asaf? Yeah, y'all. Me too. Wow. Q1. Fondue is a dish where bread is typically dipped in what? Cheese, molten metal, or more bread. Number two, which is not a European nation? Slovenia, Slovakia, or Sri Lanka? All right, by the UN's count, Europe's got 44 countries, but the island nation of Sri Lanka is not among them. They're way out east by India. 39,924 players got that one right, babies. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, there it is, Sri Lanka. All right, Q3. Which artifact has Indiana Jones not hunted for in a film? Ark of the Covenant, Excalibur, or Holy Grail? Indiana. An important.
important rule for the Indiana Jones movie is every religion is true and every artifact does what the prophecy said it would. But there has not been a movie where he tracks down Excalibur. Yeah. 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 38,450 players got that right. The Grail took care of the Arthurian legend. All right, Q4. FDR's comment, a day that will live in infamy, referred to an event where? California, Hawaii, or New York? What's it gonna be, HPDs? All right, December 7th, 1941 is indeed still an infamous date, marking the USA's end. Got that right at Q4. Hawaii. Can y'all hear me now? Everybody can hear me? Okay, cool. Q5. Wheel of Fortune fans are demanding a rule change after a controversy centered around what word? And the or of. Controversy centered around what word? Fan rage was unleashed when a crossword type puzzle was apparently solved, but the contestant responded in this way. Take a look. We got it? Soul, flounder, cod, and catfish. Yeah, no, 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 I'm sorry, that's not right. Uh, yep, that was an expensive end. Rules are rules, even idiotic rules. 32,831 of you got that right. And question number six, and it goes a little something like this. If you're going through the Calvin cycle, you are a what? Fungus, plant, or sun? Calvin cycle. Not gonna lie, it sounds like the cycle of playing with a stuffed tiger, but it's an energy production cycle from the world of plants. Whether it turns the plants into mischievous youngsters is a different issue. 24,405 players got it right. Plant. You are a plant. If you were a plant, you couldn't play this game. Q7. One of Christina Hendricks' first ever acting gigs was in a video for who? Broken Bells, Everclear, or Sugar Ray? It's all the things that she used to say before she appeared on Mad Men, or Drive for that matter. Uh, this national treasure got a humble start in a music video for Everclear. Yeah, a few TV shows later and we all knew her. Oh my God! That's what's happening. Stop. The 988 players got it right. Ever clear, babies. Yeah. Question number eight. No, you're feeling great. In baseball sports casting, what does two away mean? A double, two outs, or two strikes? Right, sports nerds got to get this one right. Okay, sports casters have about a century to sculpt their own jargon. And, uh, you know, two away is a usual term for the inning's second out, even if it happens to the home team. Two out, 17,604 players. Got that one right. I didn't think that was going to be a savage one at all. And it wasn't. Question number nine. Which classic British TV show's theme song was not composed by an American? Benny Hill, Doctor Who, or Monty Python? All right, you might know that Benny Hill's classic chase music is Yakety Sax by saxophonist Boots Randolph. But were you aware that Monty Python's theme was by John Philip Sousa? Hmm? The Doctor Who theme was by an Australian. Doctor Who. 12,032 players got that one right. Woo! 
Things are cooking up. We got three more questions left till we find out who's getting some of this paper. All right. Q10, my friends, time to get it in. Which does not have a set of muscles commonly called obliques, abdomen, eye, or shoulder? Uh, time is up. The word oblique basically means diagonal, uh, neither parallel nor perpendicular. Uh, and it also means groups of muscles that you have in your eyes and abdomen. Your shoulders have a mess of muscles, but no obliques. 10,544 players. Moving on to Q11. All dogs go to heaven. <laughs> Let's go to work. The new Fortnite Zero Crisis event does not feature which character? Godzilla, Ryu, or Master Chief? I grew up hearing his name Ryu and Ryu, but it, it depends. Yeah. Street Fighter guy. He's in there, though. The, gay, the giant game world uh, from Ready Player One is almost real at this point. In a few years, they might even get Goku. But for now, there's no Godzilla, okay? Meanwhile, Kratos and Master Chief are in the same game. Smash Bros, Boy. you're trailing behind. 6,635 players are moving on to the final question of the game. Question fail. What's that smell? Smells like money. Follow me at Matt. What's money? Ooh. Oi. This one's for all. Chip. Largest animal in the world holds what other animal kingdom distinction? Loudest, fastest, or biggest skin? Nature's triumph of more is better, you know, that, that it roams our seas as the blue whale. That's an achievement to shout about really, really loudly because its voice approaches 200 decibels. It's the loudest. 4,445 players just won HQ trivia, baby. Yeah. Beach native. Five. Demu, Adele Dare. Everybody's a dollar thirteen cents richer. That's what I'm talking about. Look at how that one turned out, huh? We can never predict it. The only way to see how it goes is turning it loose on all of you. And sometimes you surprise us big time. I hope you'll come back and surprise us again. Once again, tomorrow brings you two big games. Hall of Trivia with Jeff Eisenbahn at 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific, an hour before regular HQ, and then regular HQ. And then Wednesday is HQ Words with Anna Roisman. And that charity, again, is the Asian Mental Health Collective, creating a supportive and empathetic mental health community where it's badly needed. Go to asianmhc.org to learn a lot more about them and lend some help. Until next time, I'm Matt Richards saying... I wish the freezer section at the supermarket had a special cooler labeled, turns out not to be microwavable after you get it home. <laughs>